Hello everyone, this is Vikramjit and in this video we will learn about the designing of an impeller. So let's create a new file and make sure that it's in millimeters and it's standalone is selected and click OK. Uh, now for the beginning we now have to select a plane. Uh, let's say we create on the X plane. Now there are many ways you can create a design. Either you can uh, make the base and then extrude it or you can create the cross section and then revolve it around a particular vector so my what i would prefer is that create the cross section first and this will give you much flexibility in your design and much flexibility when you design the cross section of the impeller for those of you who are new to the world of fluid machinery an impeller is a device which converts the kinetic energy of the fluid to the pressure energy uh, here I am creating the uh, basic cross section and now make sure that while revolving you select the single curve and select those curves only which you want to revolve and now select the vector we have select the vector as the z axis and now we have the revolved structure as, I, as you can see that we get a solid model by this this uh, forms the basic structure of our impeller and the blades will be built up on this and as you know an impeller is a casted material so what I am doing is now uh, we are making it part by part but generally in manufacturing process this is a total casted part so this it's totally done by casting so there's no uh, scope for part formation and now what I'm doing is that uh, let me create a curve on which which will my guide for the impeller blades but now we select the curve on surface and this is my guide we use this guide to uh, to orient our curve and now this gives us much flexibility and now we can do it according to a design but since we are not following a strict instruction let me give you let me say you that uh, this is a uh, what we say hypothetical model so you can you have flexibility in design and now we extend we select the flange uh, we now have to create the flange over this uh, curve and we select the face and now as you can see you have the length law the angle law and as you can see there are uh, vectors which you can manipulate and you can extend or either lower the lens this is a very thing I like about Unigraphics is that you have a, a very friendly user interface and which allows you to uh, modify your designs right when you are creating it and you can visualize your modifications at right that time so you can see as the angle law the length law make it cubic make sure that the extension type is axisymmetric and uh, length law is selected as cubic and now you can also manipulate the angles the inlet and outlet angles these are known as the inlet vein angle and the outlet vein angle now uh, let me make sure that uh, the inlet and the outlet vein angles have a profound influence on the efficiency of the turbine or in case the impeller or the pumps because depending upon this vein angles that the efficiency will be either maximum or minimum yeah yeah in case of rotors in impellers this wind angle is determined by the guide winds but uh, in this case uh, let's uh, create the impeller section now what we want to do we have created the first uh, impeller blade and what we will do we will just thick it like this is a simple plane of very minimum uh, thickness so for the practical application we need a thick blade uh, which can sustain the force and which will which will actually impart the centrifugal force on the fluid particles uh, so we are here we have created the basic uh, single impeller blade and now what we have to do is we have to uh, unite uh, we have to unite this blade with the uh, impeller body and now we select the body and then click ok ok now it's done so we can blend the edges uh, make sure that uh, blending the edges is very important because uh, this will relieve the stresses that is building up in the impeller blade as you know the stress concentration will be uh, very high at sharp edges so in any designing parameters we ought to have such parameters that which will reduce the uh, stress concentrations now we will uh, copy the single pattern over the entire body for now I am selecting the pattern feature we are selecting the two most important things that we have to copy and specifying the point as we have selected from the coordinate uh, or origin we select it as zero and now as you can see uh, you can create uh, the count and the pitch angle as you want and according to the design if you have it uh, here let's create 12 counts with a pitch angle 30 and let's see how it works so preview show result 
and here we have oh this so I think uh, the number of blades uh, cannot be as you want because it also depends on the parameters and on the operating conditions of the pump so let's make it 10 because 12 is a bit clumsy and maximum of the flow area is covered by the 12 blades so let's make it 10 uh, and as you can see an important parameter in designing of impeller is that as you can see the inlet that is this side uh, the top the small portion the inlet uh, the thickness of the blades at the inlet is greater than the thickness of the blades at outlet uh, why is this uh, as you know from the basic law of fluid mechanics that uh, the flow area should be uh, constant so inlet breadth into inlet area should be equal to the outlet breadth into outlet area diameter sorry so this has to be maintained and now uh, for the we are uh, extruding the front portion of it to create a hole as you can see that's very simple we just uh, click the upper portion we created a sketch and then extrude then subtract from the main body so this is our main impeller body now we can render it to give it a, a realistic look in true shading yeah uh, let's me see uh, in the material library we have oh my computer's froze sorry uh, from the metal section this is actually made of casted metal so let's see uh, cast and let's see oh okay let me first select all them all of them uh, then I select um, cast stainless steel okay so here's my thing this is my complete impeller set so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more videos thank you